So I've been playing Black Myth Wukong now for the majority of today, and um, let's give my first thoughts, first impressions on it, shall we? The number one question that I think a lot of people are going to have is, is it hard? I would say it is decently hard, but the reason that it is quite hard is the balancing of the damage that you output versus the damage that bosses seem to do to you. A lot of people were talking about how, because the developer said it's not a Souls-like, and if we're being real here, it's a Souls-like, um, we'll go through that in a moment, that because it isn't a Souls-like, that it must be a hack and slash. And typically, hack and slash games, you sort of, you do your attacking without much care for responding to what the enemy is doing in a hack and slash game. You are just mindlessly hacking and slashing. Uh, in this game, if you try and play it like it's a hack and slash, if you just swing for the fences and just hope for the best, one combo from most of the bosses will take your entire health bar away. That is my experience though, so far. Um, it is very Souls-like in that you wait for the boss to give you an opening and then you do a, a combo for as much damage as you can and then it starts doing another massive combo. I think that a lot of the bosses in this game have taken huge inspiration from Elden Ring uh, due to the fact that so many of the bosses do the whole going absolutely mental thing. You'll be fighting a massive black bear, all of a sudden it'll roar, turn into a burning ball of dust, shoot into the sky, there'll be flame erupting from the floor, particle effects going mental, and you might just be stood there twiddling your thumbs waiting for a response. Um, and that feels very Elden Ring to me. Not so much Souls, but definitely Elden Ring. Um, so the game is decently hard. It seems to have a bit of a weird spike. Like, a lot of the bosses I'm first trying, and then randomly there'll be like a couple of bosses that give me trouble. And it tends to be, uh, anybody that watched me play through Elden Ring will understand what I'm saying when I say this, it tends to be the anime type of moves that cause me the problems. Um, straight up, if they swing at you, dodge it, is fairly straightforward. There are, there are certain mechanics in this game that I think are going to take a while to actually be, be fleshed out, and I don't know how to feel about that. I'm, I've just finished chapter one, which was decently long. I, th I think this game's going to take a while, and it feels like right now the game, it really wants you to build around using light attacks to build up your focus, using your focus to use your various different heavy attacks to do a lot of damage all at once. But the problem is, is that looking at the skill tree, at some point this problem will fix itself. But right now, and so far through the game, is the heavy attacks don't seem to have too much value to them because the time it takes you to execute the heavy attack, you might as well have just done another, another light combo to do the same amount of damage but in more amounts of hits, but faster and safer because you can get in and out without committing to the big overhead swing of the heavy attack. Um, granted, like I said, I'm looking at the skill tree and looking down the skill tree means that I think it's going to improve as you get more and more skill points, but at the moment I just think that's the case. I think this is definitely one of those games that... Like Sekiro, if you don't like the combat style within the first hour, you're not going to like it ever. It isn't like Souls where you can change your weapon, change your playstyle, change your build. The big, the big stick is your weapon, and if you don't like big stick, you're not going to like using big stick through the game. I, there are different stances that you can use, similar to Neo, but again, it's still, at the end of the day, just whack, whack thing with big stick. Um, the game has RPG elements, I would definitely not call it an RPG, and in fact so far I have yet to see much of a difference in any of the stats in any which way that serve any meaningful purpose. Like for example, I upgrade my defense, I still seem to go down in as many hits. I upgrade my attack, I still don't seem to do as much damage. Um, I, I think it might be one of those where it's put the numbers into the game to tick the box of having the RPG elements that every game has to have these days, otherwise how dare you not. I am enjoying it. It is rage inducing. like. The bosses can be quite hard sometimes, and I, the reason that I find some of the bosses a bit rage-inducing is that some of the bosses that are like 80% fair have 20% unfair attacks that will come out of nowhere, you'll feel like you dodged it. There is some weird, there's something weird about the dodge in this game where sometimes it feels really perfect and smooth and other times it just doesn't, and I can't put my finger on why that is. But if we're on the topic of is it a Souls-like, I think you can't say it isn't. You have bonfires, you have an Estus flask, you have boss after boss after boss, you have upgrading um, a weapon, but keeping it largely the same, like the weapon doesn't actually change. You have bosses with massive movesets that do massive amounts of damage to you, and you do not do them to do much damage to it. You have to control your stamina meter, otherwise you'll be out of ability to dodge or fight. That's half the battle in the Souls games. Enemies drop this game's equivalent of souls that you spend on in-game currencies. They also drop this game's equivalent of experience, where, just like in Sekiro, if you die before filling up the meter, the meter empties, whereas every time you fill it up, you get to keep that point. 
I think that the developers have worded we are not a souls like in such a way that they feel almost offended by that label as if that label holds weight in terms of being a negative or a positive like there are plenty of games that are bad souls likes and there are plenty of games that are amazing souls like lies of p is a souls like and it's one of my favorite games ever i think if you are comparing wukong between the souls games and like actual hack and slash games like old school god of war devil may cry i suppose bayonetta it would be silly to try to say that it isn't closer to the Souls games than it is to those. It just... it just is. It doesn't make it a bad thing, but that is the fact. Touching on the whole boss rush thing, I think a bit of a problem with the boss rush stuff is that, just like Sekiro, you don't really have much opportunity to improve yourself if you do start to struggle. So, for example, in a Souls game, if a boss is a problem, you can go somewhere else. You can go get stronger, go change things up, come back, and have another go in a different way. But because this is the way this is, it is just a case of slam your head against the brick wall, taking chip away each time until the brick wall finally falls over. The, the game has armor, the game has stats, the game has loads of different things that, again, I truly do believe are in here to tick off a box that says in 2024 every game has to have RPG light elements, otherwise it isn't allowed. I'm blaming Ubisoft, because I feel like once they started doing it with Assassin's Creed, everybody started doing it with everything. It, all this game needed to have was just... Upgrade your health, upgrade your damage. That would have been fine. That's all Sekiro had. That is all Sekiro had. That's all it needed to have. In terms of the story and the world, again, I think I'm a little bit too early days in the game to really touch upon that too much, but it, it's interesting. I don't know how accurate to the, the folklore it is and whether or not um, people are going to be offended on behalf, but I know that I've seen, <laughs> I've seen the whole it's not diverse enough thing, which, oh no, what a shame. So I don't know how long I've rambled for, but my arm is starting to ache now holding up the, the camera. Um, I'm enjoying it so far. It's It's fun. I do think it's pretty hard. I do think it's quite unforgiving at times. I do think some of the bosses have got unfair moves. I do think it has a bit of a trope where it's trying to where it's trying to do the thing that Elden Ring did a little bit too much with bosses having these massive expansive move sets to the point where sometimes it's a little bit style over substance um, versus just actually being a fun fight like having to like every Knowing that you're going to die five times against the boss and every time you fight the boss means that you have to sit there and wait for it to do its um, phase change where it starts zipping around the arena as a ball of smoke for 30 seconds is quite annoying. It was cool the first time you see it, but in a game like this that is designed to beat you down and make you better, having to see it over and over again and it being something that you can't necessarily change, like, it'd be alright if you could knock it out of that phase. For example, Sekiro did that better. Lady Butterfly had a move where she could get up on a on a tightrope and be quite annoying up there, but you could shuriken her to get her down and that would end that. Whereas here, it's like you're sort of just waiting for these bosses to finish doing the silly thing sometimes. But yeah, I'm enjoying it. My controller's just died. I'm enjoying it. I'm about to start the next chapter. Well, once I've been to B&Q. Um, my video of me playing through the game is absolutely rage-filled, and I think that a lot of people are going to take the takeaway from that that I don't like it. But no, I'm just filled with rage sometimes when, when things don't go my way. Uh, I'm enjoying it. It is annoying sometimes, but so far so good, I suppose.